What's up y'all? It's me, back with another video, and it's time for some more Lorna, sure. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, ready, ready to get possessed again. So, um, this song is called Sun Eater, I think it's an instrumental track. Um, right? Uh, so yeah, it's, um, I mean, yeah, Lorna sure is a pretty legendary uh, nowadays uh, deathcore band well like I mean from nowadays you know uh, so yeah it's um, they're great I can see how they're uh, how they're uh, famous you know but um, yeah I mean I'm uh, interested to see what uh, what this is gonna sound like so um, let's just get right into it so you know all the stuff if you like this video like and all that yes but Let's just get right into it. Eight string. One, two, three, four, five, seven string. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm really like enjoying these riffs, uh, and yeah, the overall style is uh, definitely if if you like don't listen to this type of music, then this is definitely something different. <laughs> uh, of course, it's uh, I mean I, I don't need to tell you it's very fast, very heavy, energizing, overall very different. And the vocals are, yeah, he can do so many things with his voice. It's um, I can I can see how they're famous, you know, such an like to many people, it's such an obscure type of music that it becomes very um, interesting just because it's so different. Um, and yeah, great mu musicianship and all that, of course. Let's keep it rolling.
my boy is really possessed, you know. Since and the guitar playing the same part, I think that was. This drumming is just insane. So, my second Lorna song uh, was not the instrumental. What, what was the instrumental one? I... Oh, there is an instrumental version of this song then uh, as well. That's why I confused it. Uh, but is it. Yeah. So, yeah, that was definitely. Uh, I mean, sort of what I would expect, like genre wise. Um, but yeah, it's uh, of course a very interesting type of music, to me at least. Um, I could see how it would not be to many people as well. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it all depends where you fall on the spectrum, you know. Um, and also how used you are to uh, heavier types of music. But um, yeah. It was definitely, like I said, I really enjoyed that. Um, great stuff. Really cool. Now, I didn't catch a lot of the lyrics. Uh, so I'm gonna read through this or just skim through it uh, a bit. What is life but a fever dream? Their eyes are yet to open. The gears are set to place to guide me to affinity. Uh, I'll eat the sun. Yeah, this is definitely one of those possessed type of songs. I mean, the vibe from it. But yeah, like I said, great stuff, cool, I liked it. Cool video too. Uh, production is great, both video and audio. And uh, the overall feeling is of course great, unique. You could spot like these um, sort of black metal vibes uh, and uh, power metal vibes. I mean specifically from one of the riffs in the beginning. It's like I hear I I hear many gen genres uh, from just that riff alone, and yeah, I like the riffs very much. Um, sounded sort of happy sometimes, you know, at least. 
in a major scale, I guess. Uh, positively, you know, positive song. So it wasn't like being possessed in that sense, but yeah, absolutely great stuff. We'll uh, we'll listen to it again, and um, I will listen to some more Lorna Shore. So, do you have any recommendations? Put them down below in the comments and. Um, Check out all the links and stuff in the description. Put a like on the video if, th if you think I did good and deserve. And subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.